Hello, my little demons. It is Demon Julie here. I am back for more story time. Are you ready to have your spine prickled and your bones chilled? Mm, let me in. For today, I read from you or to you from The Fishing with the Devil by Robert Bose. And if you have never read this, you must. Today, I chose a story called a hole. Shall we get started? Mm. I regarded the hole, a patch of darkness marring the bathroom ceiling from the comfort of Amy's bathtub. A trick of light, a convergence of shadow thrown by dusty spider webs draping every nook and cranny? I couldn't tell. Besides, with my head jack hammering behind the polka dotted pink shower curtains, everything looked and felt full of holes. Fragments of broken memory forced their way free from my subconscious, fluttering like a bat with a broken wing. Last night, a rough one, filled with drinking, dancing, and debauchery at the bar down the street. I kissed the girl from upstairs, Tina, more than kissed. God help me, I'd shagged her, shagged her silly. And what the hell had they been sliding down the bar? Tequila shots? Prairie fires? I drunk them all, under protest of course, until they burned through my gut, liquefying every organ in a hellfire-infused apocalypse. I realized somehow that the end was near and dragged myself out of Tina's embrace, sprinted home and delivered a double-ended salute with chest to thighs, arms wrapped around gold porcelain. The hole, right? A burst pipe? The crumbling old tenement, a low-end 70s era rental complete with cracked brown tile and full wood paneling. Why, Amy, my girlfriend and sugar, mummy? stayed. Oh, I'll, I'll never understand. Dirt cheap, sure, but she could do better. Not that it mattered. Once the little lady got wind of my escapades at the Fang and Gill, and she would, I doubt I'd never see the place again, or any place for that matter. With a shudder, my brain skipped a beat and tossed me into a labyrinth of guilt-ridden dreams where temptation lurked behind every corner. I teetered on the lip of hell and looked down, way down. Devil girl shouted and urged, squealed and pointed to an inviting bed. A jumble of rich purple pillows jumped, no, never pushed. I fell landing dead center and bounced once. The bed engulfed me, pulling me in, pulling me deep. Something sharp pushed against my back, penetrating, pushing through. Bloody points protruded from my chest like twisted dead fingernails. My eyes snapped open. The echo of my shriek sliding away behind a blanket of labored breathing. Who's there? leaked from my parched throat before I realized the death rattle was mine. Sitting up, induced a round of dry heaves and a trickle of fluorescent green-blue that dribbled down my chin and puke-encrusted shirt. Grim, even for me. I pulled myself up to the sink, peeled off my shirt and pants, and dug through the bathroom vanity for something. Anything to take the edge off. No luck. I found makeup. Feminine hygiene products, toothbrushes, shavers, and a large unmarked bottle of white powder. Cocaine? Rat poison? Not worth the risk, not even close. I tossed the bottle back in the drawer and took a drink from the minty fresh toothbrush cup. Spit out the congealed blobs and contemplated striking out towards the kitchen beyond the greener pasture, pastures of the bedroom calling. 
well what happens with this hole you will have to get your copy and read the rest for yourself and i know you will not be disappointed for this book is filled with lots of dark delicious treats now you stay here because we will have more story time soon